Hello and welcome to my uh, pl let's play or walkthrough of State of Decay. I'm going to be starting from the beginning, starting a new, starting a new game. Um, I have played about an hour into this game. I'm loving it already, and it will be really good to um, take you through the journey. Uh, I think I'm going to start off doing 10 minute episodes or roughly around 10 minutes to try and keep it far slower down because my internet's not great. Try and release um, a video a day. I can do that. I could release two videos a day because I'm just that amazing. At the moment you can uh, see what's happening on the screen. This is like, every, I could say everyone who has tried the demo has done this at all so I don't need to talk over this. I will join you, me in the past, will join you in the future in a very soon second. So thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe and cheerio! Okay, so State of Decay is a zombie survival game and it is free world with a story a bit like how GTA plays out um, where you couldn't just go out and do stuff or you can follow missions. Um, it's been just released, it's still in development, so there's loads of it. I say loads of issues. I have come across a few issues playing this normally, such as frame rate issues and uh, clunky movements, but it is still an arcade game, so I don't mind, and I still enjoy it. <laughs> so when you first drop into the game, the survivors are totally unaware about what's happened, and then. Uh, there is a stealth aspect to the game, which I highly recommend when you're searching items. But just walking around like this is very boring and tedious. However, as you can see, I'm pointing at the screen, don't know why. There's a yellow broken stick above my radar. Because um, there's the whole aspect that everything you have breaks. There's a breaking point to everything, nothing lasts forever. So that's the whole... like. Um, Like, ah, uh, oh, what's the word? I want to say xenon, but that's not even a word. The whole sort of like aura, aura is a, the wrong word as well. Uh, like the whole idea about a zombie apocalypse is how nothing lasts forever, um, which is also another fun part of this game, which I found out. Um, so nothing lasts forever, and like there's a limited supply to everything, and it's a very real possibility that one. Well, no. Zombie apocalypse won't happen, but still, open door, go, cutscene. Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. I think there's people here I haven't met recently. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Bear. We will. Bear, please. Excuse me. Take what you need and stay safe out there. So, when I, what I recommend is if you want to take anything out of this locker, highly do it because it may or may not be there when you get back. Um, what happens is uh, there is communities, as you can see in the top right. Again, I'm pointing, but nothing's happening. Um, in the top right, oh, my safe zone's a bit. Can I change that? Uh, oh, there's the controls. I I didn't actually know this. Flashlight, headlight, turbo, lovely. Oh, that pretty works in cars. Those are things and stuff. Leaderboards. I did not know that. I've definitely not killed 219 zombies. Only like four. So, um, one of the uh, main features in this, I say it's a main feature, uh, at, across different points there's different communities, like some are towns and stuff, and almost all of them have survey points, there's survey points just around the maps, which are high points, a bit like in Assassin's Creed, when you <laughs> like, look around and unlock the map to see, except um, here, uh, it's a survey tower and you go around and you can see stuff, like, oh look, there's a truck, mm -hmm. and it marks it on your map for you. So you can like go visit that either when you're doing a mission or There's just generally free roaming. It's a really nice aspect, but it can be quite tedious if there's like 
80 points on your map to mark at one point, but it's fine. There's a building we we'll want to check out. Oh, da -da. There's another building. There's a public restroom. I've missed some. No, there's a point. Is that it? I think I've seen enough for now. See, so yeah, the characters. You hear that? Gunshot. Yeah. Forgot about that bit. Not the only ones a bad I just pushed him off. Uh, he's all right. <laughs> uh, I. Just, um. One of the things that's really nice in this game is the way how the map helps you a lot. Like, as you can see on the mini-map, you might be able to see there's a red dot. That's because the zombie knows I'm here. But if it didn't know I was here, there would be no red dot. So that's quite nice to know if you're going to be attacked. That's also a fun part. Um, when you down uh, creatures... Creatures. When you down zombies... Um, there, there is like a finish, finish him mode. Finish him. That's Mortal Kombat. There's like a, a finish him move, and that like insta kills them. Uh, it's like usually like, uh, so it's kind of like a Dead Rising type thing. If I had to probably compare this game to one other, it would probably be Dead Rising. Um, many people, I don't know. I don't say many people. I don't know if anyone's like people. Obviously, will compare this to Daisy, but. The one thing I have against that this is not like Daisy in any way is because um, I don't feel like as scared of the zombies in this than in Daisy because obviously like this this isn't supposed to be like ultra realistic. So it's like you're supposed to play through and like I guess they're saying like yeah you kind of can win. Right? Because you can't really like win Daisy, which is... Yeah. Right, so, uh, as you can see, I've got, like, a damaged wood branch, which is what you start off with. You can destroy that by holding Y, which I just did. And I uh, always recommend possibly carrying, like, two uh, melee weapons on you. So destroying that was a bad idea. But it was damaged, and I don't know if you can um, undamage weapons. Uh, along here is the people in your community. Uh, later on in the game, you can swap to the different people. So if there was, like, say, a person there, I could say, oh, I want to switch and be him, and it would, like, rest your guy. I believe that's how that works. Here you've got missions. Well, that's interesting. That's, that's the date. I didn't play in May. Oh, that is very interesting. Because that's, um, they went on holiday for two weeks. Which definitely, there's a thing there, yes. There's another thing there. Oh, you look, oh look, it shows like your home and how you can defend it. So I don't know if this game has choices or not. Like I could choose to, maybe that house might not last forever. Who knows? We will probably find out soon. <laughs> I'm just casually giving. No, I'm not giving the story away. Nothing happens to Ranger Station. The Ranger Station's fine. Oh, Jesus, fucking. Yep, that was uh, nice. It, it's always nice to know that you can do that and not lose health. Aha! Survivor. Oh, hello zombies. Oh, so there's a lot of zombies here. Um, that was fun. Uh, stuff is happening. Um, you probably can't hear me. Uh, the combat system's nice. It feels very nice. I enjoy it. Fucking ah! Break free. Just killing lots of. Eat a snack. Oh yeah. Um, right bumper is eating snacks because there is uh, like an endurance mechanic in this. So like every time you do like it, every time you hit, every time you jump, it do, like it takes. Uh, what's the? That's the color. Hang on. You mean aside from being lost in the woods, attacked by psychopaths? Watching two of my best friends die? Yeah, I'm Peachy. Sorry I asked. So, is it this bad everywhere? Man, I hope not. We got some survivors back at the ranger station that seem to know what's going on. But we didn't have time for orientation. Well then, let's get the hell back there. Love the idea, but uh, we got kind of volunteered to check a couple other places for survivors first. 
Just think of it as payback for the time that you volunteered us for the running of the bulls in Pamplona. Okay then. You want to take point, or should I? So this is where you first learn that. So I could go talk to her, and I say, "Oh, I'm beat. Why don't you take over?" And I'm now her. <coughs> um, so th with this, if you're in your journal, different characters have different abilities. So she's got no nonsense, a soldier, and eagle-eyed. Uh, and then Marcus, who's the first person we were playing with, he's born leader, hiking, clerk, and natural athlete. So like some of the stuff, um, you can see the stars and stuff. They like skills, and they uh, help your character advance and like help you beat the zombies quicker. I guess. Um, that there's like nice climbing bit there. Uh, I feel it all kind of works out. It, everything like works nicely. Although, as I did say, there are frame rate, is frame rate issues later on, like when there's like 20 zombies and you're trying to load a town as well. It just kind of can't cope, but it's still in development, I think. Shh. <laughs> and I think what I might do is I might leave you here for the first episode and I will keep playing, obviously, for the second episode. So, um, you know. Cheerio.